Did you see how fast you dumbass clicked on this video? Because yes, you've been clickbaited. Like, this is a fix of the story. I do not became a millionaire at 20 with Amazon FBA. And I'm doing all this to clickbait you, to show you how Amazon FBA gurus are actually taking advantage of you. And in today's video, this is what I'm going to show you. I'm going to tell you two things that you should be aware of that you should pay attention to when you are actually trying to listen to somebody teaching you or trying to sell you something if you do not know me my name is chris mangunza i release daily videos about selling on amazon right here on youtube to teach you how to become six to seven figure sellers for free for 100 percent free all right so if you are new like this video and subscribe to get recommended more videos all right so uh um, yeah you you saw fast you clicked on this video because you saw some lamborghinis on the thumbnail you saw some watches on the thumbnail because yes i have the thumbnail already done and i know already i'm going to beat you in this video right but like what i wanted to tell you um in today's video is to pay attention to who you are listening to especially and this is the first big thing that i wanted to talk about today especially when they are recommending software tools course and all that stuff to you and um let's start with cross because if you guys know I, I, and this is something that i was actually talking about with somebody that is in my group mentorship because yes i do paid mentorship i have all this content for free but i also do paid mentorship but i don't have a course and so um what i'm going to say is true whether it is for course or for for mentorship and for all those things because you are going to see a lot of testimonies from people that took calls that took mentorship that took all that stuff even from myself but the truth is and this is so true that you need to understand you need to realize when i started i did not get any course i did not get any mentorship and the, the, the information that was available for free right here on youtube was it was way less than what you guys have currently that was what you guys have access to right now on youtube right and so you can 100 percent do all this without any any of that paid stuff no the thing that you need to realize is that networking in the community and making these youtube's video for me these youtube videos for me is something that actually helped me meet a lot of people in the community talk to a lot of people and i learned a lot by talking to other sellers so this is something that we need to say this is something that actually helped me go to the next level fast but at its core i i became a six-figure seller without talking to anybody okay i was already at 300 i think 300 400 thousand dollars a month of revenue without even talking uh, a month i'm sorry i'm sorry not a month a year of revenue without talking to anybody in the community just doing this shit by myself with my girl okay so not just by myself but us two working on that not talking to anybody and uh it's totally fine. You can definitely become a multi six figure seller just by doing this, and so you do not need anything. You'll figure that shit out by yourself. And if I was able to figure it out by myself, without any course, without any paid mentorship, without all that stuff, you're going to be able to. So the truth is that what you need to realize, the main thing is that yes, of course, all of this stuff, all of this stuff is going to, especially if you do mentorship and all that stuff, all this stuff is going to be a shortcut, a big shortcut, because you're going to be able to do that way faster and you're going to be able to be plugged with people in the community that are as motivated as you. You're going to be able to meet some people, especially if you're in a mentorship like the mentorship that I do, because we do calls and small group and all that stuff. But the truth is that, you know, and I noticed it, okay? It, people that were going to be successful, or like people that that, that, that that are successful were going to be successful whether they took your mentorship whether they took the course whether they do all that stuff they were going to be successful one way or, or, or another because they will have figured that shit out okay by themselves it's just that yes it's a shortcut but you can do that all by yourself so if you do all that stuff do not expect to learn like some because most of the stuff that you're going to learn is small nuance and all the stuff that actually makes a difference but it's not like you're going to learn something that is revolutionary that is like that is going to put you 100 years ahead of everybody this is not the way it works you already know how the business works you already know that stuff the only thing that you're going to do that you're going to learn is small adjustments right this is for example why um you see you see nba players for example getting coaches to work on their three points for example there's that guy on on, on instagram um i forgot the guy that takes crazy shots and all that stuff but it's just small adjustment you know to to inc increase their percentage from 
37% to 39% the next season, to 40% the next season. So they can become a, a better seller or a better shooter, all from 25% being a 25% three point shooter to a 30% three point shooter. It's just a 5% increase. It's like stuff at the margins. But when you are a pro, this is what makes the difference. And this is all you should actually think about mentorship. All right. And cross if you're a beginner, just to, to, to learn faster. But if you're another beginner, a cross is really, is not really going to help you. And the truth is that, as I said, People that were going to be successful were going to be successful regardless. So they were going to figure out that shit. Okay, it's just that they're going. It's going to take them a little bit longer, and so then there would be a little bit less. You know, because at, at at this scale, you know, the difference in between, of course, the difference in between making zero to five thousand dollars a month, it's a lot, right? But then when you are at 20, 30, 40, you know, going from forty to fifty, or just staying at fifty but being more efficient changed a lot and it's small nuances it's small things that are going to help you but the truth is that you know all these um all these all these testimonials at the end of the day you know i'm going to tell you if you are a bum you are a bum and you're not going to be successful whether you take a mentorship or not whether like you can have god come to you and actually teach you like every single step on how to do this stuff you would not be successful because you are just a bum and the first thing that you should focus on is to stop being a bum that's it. If you're a bum, you're not going to be successful. If you are going to be successful, you are going to be successful even without the mentorship and all that stuff. And I'm going to tell you why. There's a specific loop, okay? There's a loop uh, 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 of products that are super profitable that I've gave that I've given to my to people in my mentorship that I've taught to 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 the people that are on some other YouTubers' mentorship actually as well. And this is a loop that I taught to probably. I would say 50 to 60 people, if we are being honest, probably 50 to 60 people have learned that specific loop from me. What you should have seen, what you should have seen if, uh, because people think that if you share loops, if you share products, if you do all that stuff, stuff becomes, uh, stuff becomes uh, not profitable anymore, all that stuff. The truth is that, you know, it, it, because I've been sharing this loop since last year, and this is still a loop that I'm taking advantage of and that people in my group mentorship are taking advantage of. If all that was the case, and if just because, if like this is literally a loop, you can make a full-time income just with that specific loop, just with those products. And so if it was the case, if what I'm telling you, like if, if, if everybody was, if everybody was actually listening to what I said, because this is literally like, this is just a simple advice that you can take, you can make a full-time income of it. If everybody was actually applying this, you would see an increase in the number of people, like an increase in the number of new offers of 50 to 60 people, 50 to 60 new offers on every single one of those listings from that brand, from those specific products. And there's multiple listings and you will have seen that. The truth is that you do not see that. You, you do not see that at all on those listings. And it should show you that, you know, in those 50 to 60 people, like, there are some, people, some, some of those people that actually learned that are some bums because they did not take advantage of that while it's something that you can actually make a ton of money on, right? And so this is, this is, this is a common pattern that I see over and over again. Even if, even if, you know, of course, the mentorship that I do with people actually help them scale faster learn faster some stuff and actually were able to get some stuff and actually apply those stuff and make more money they would have figured out even if they had to do it by themselves they would have figured it out and they would have been successful with amazon i was able to increase the speed at which they were able to do it i was able to 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 make them a little bit more money not a little bit more money in some cases a ton more money right but they were going to figure it out by themselves one way or another because these are the kind of people that actually are successful okay don't believe that if you actually get the same trainer, the same guy. So, for example, you have uh, on uh, if you, you talk about basketball, if you look on Instagram, you have dribble too much. The guy talking about handle and all that stuff, and then you have the guy talking about little shooter. Here we go. This is his name. You can work with those two every single day. You're not going to make the NBA because you're just a bum. That's it. You're not going to make the NBA. You're just a bum. It's not because you get the same coach that you're going to get the same results. Okay, because you do not have the basic stuff that you actually need to make it you do not have it and with amazon actually it's way more simple to actually make it on amazon than to make it in, uh, in the nba and the base the base level okay the base level that you need is just not be a bum that's it that's the only thing and so you should actually focus on not being a bum but the second thing that i actually wanted to talk about which is way more important is going to be about um you know, the software that you use and all the recommendations that you actually get from gurus and all that stuff. The truth is, one thing that you should understand is that, and I don't want to target anybody, um, 
because I feel like the people that are targeted the most, people that are targeted, and if I if if I tell you which people are targeted the most, like you, you know who is targeted the most, okay? Like uh, uh, we're not going to lie. To get the 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 one that is targeted the most is uh is the, is the one of the guy that has that, that that makes the most noise, which is Miles, right? Who is actually legit, okay? But you have guys that are not targeted at all. Okay, on the other side of the spectrum, you have guys that are not targeted at all, that actually themselves shit on fake gurus and are actually not sitting on Amazon themselves. Like some of the OGs are not even sitting on Amazon uh, themselves either and are actually recommending people and teaching people to do stuff and are making all their income with content and with coaching. All right. And so in my opinion, this is really hypocritical, especially when you go to when you go to events and you actually go when you actually go to events and you actually interview people asking them to show you their sales when actually you don't, you don't have any sales and you should actually be the one that is being interviewed so it would be fun if that actually happens at some at some events that is going to come soon right it would be super fun it would be super funny and uh, it would be super funny but like the reason why I'm telling you all this is because you need to understand something. A lot of these guys are making uh, their income, uh, a big income on, 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 on YouTube and with content creation and with the stuff that they recommend with affiliate links. And this is why when people actually start, people start building, um, because actually, you know, it's way easier to build a, a, an audience on Twitter just by being active in the community and then recommending products such as, uh, and this is what people do most of the time. Uh, the first thing that they try to recommend is, is VPN. And so you've seen it. You've seen, you, if you've been on Amazon Twitter, you've seen it. Um, and uh, start recommending products. And yeah, but what you will see mainly on YouTube, even on YouTube and Twitter, even with bigger names, is that they will just recommend the preferences, something that you should actually be aware of. And always check, try to open an affiliate account with all the companies. And you know what? One video that I should do is I should compare the affiliate programs of every single software in the business. And so, what they do, what these people do is that they just recommend the softwares that are going to pay them the most and they do not talk about the softwares that do not have a, um, um, an affiliate program at all, not at all. And so this is something that you should be aware of, okay? Because um, the reason why, and this is something that I've said a lot, the reason why a lot of people have not been talking about tactical arbitrage is because they stopped their affiliate program and they just started it again and this is why you've seen a couple of videos of people saying that arbitrage that tactical arbitrage is, is back all that stuff it's not it has pretty much always been the same the only thing that was different is the number of minutes it's always been the same all the people that are going to talk about tactical arbitrage know and i've said it in previous videos are just full of shit because they are just going to recommend you what uh, what is going to pay them Pretty much, okay? So this is one big thing that you need to be aware of. And like always try to figure out. So same thing, the reason why everybody has been, and Stellar Amp is a great software, but the reason why everybody is talking about Stellar Amp and not talking about other softwares is because Stellar Amp has the best affiliate program when it comes to uh, product calculation, right? Same thing, uh, and same thing why nobody, and if you look at it, nobody that started when I actually started actually talked about tactile arbitrage. Because like a lot of people actually use tactical arbitrage or they just stopped using it, but it's actually a great tool. I'm telling you, tactical arbitrage is a great tool if you know how to use it. And so the reason why nobody talks about it is because of this. It's just because of the affiliate program. Okay? Because the affiliate program was stopped and it was way easier because also tactical arbitrage is a tool that requires um that requires a lot of it has a steep learning curve, right? And so, um, you know, like it's it's a hard sell if you do if you do have in marketing. I, I mean, I don't know. Like, I do have a link for uh, tactile arbitrage, um, and I don't know how, how big. Um, like, I don't even know because I don't really check uh, my affiliate stuff. I just have the money going to a, a PayPal account that I don't even really check. If we're being honest, like I have some that goes there and I have some that comes. To be honest, the only one that goes to the only affiliate program that goes to my main PayPal account is just the one from Be Cool. And uh, it's just, you know, it's just money that I use to, to, to go eat out and stuff like that. Okay, it's nothing major. But like, that's the only one. Every, every other software is just on another PayPal account that I do not even check. Even the, to be honest, even the, even the, um, the, 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 the coaching, the one-on-one -on -one coaching that I do is going over there. It's not even money that I use and it's just money that I use to pay for, for, um, to, to, to develop softwares and to, to work on projects that I put back into the business, if we're being honest. So I'm not even sure which affiliate program actually pays me the most and all that stuff. I just know what Be Cool pays me. 
that's it. Like the rest, I do not even check it. Um, I don't even check it that much. It's just some money that I use, as I said, to invest into the YouTube channel with a new project and all that stuff. Pretty much. That's it. And um, yeah, so I'm uh, like, to be honest, like, yeah, and you guys see, I recommend softwares even, I've been recommending tactical arbitrage even when there was no um, affiliate program. This is one big thing that you need to be aware of. Always check. And by the way, this is why, you know, uh, at one point, a lot of people started to talking about Nepeto and like the other software because they had a great affiliate program, you know, and it was easy to actually, um, it was an easier sale than tactical arbitrage because tactical arbitrage is seem like it's complicated it's not complicated tactile arbitrage is an easy tool and i don't i don't get why people even people in my mentorship um they've been telling me that it looks complicated and all that stuff and we actually broke it down but like they say that other softwares look um or looks less complicated i don't know because i tried i tried i forgot the name of source muggle i tried source muggle i don't know about it i don't know if it's actually less complicated uh i try and to be honest like a lot of the softwares that i actually recommend for example be cool um it's just because i've been using be cool ever since i started and this is what i i've been using and i'm probably going to try other softwares soon and you guys will have like it this is scoop i'm going to start okay i'll just tell you okay i'm going to try new 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 repricing softwares soon on some accounts uh, because you guys uh, we're not going to talk too much about that about amazon accounts having multiple accounts and all that stuff um but we're going to look at we're, i'm going to look at different softwares okay i'm going to look at different softwares um i'm not going to do it directly on my account i will set it up on a friend account let's put it like this i'm going to set it up on a friend account and uh we'll figure it out there's no way for them to see that it's me and so i'll be able to compare uh, i'll be able to compare repricer directly on um uh, directly compare be cool with other repressors and this, this is going to be um, super helpful but we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes and uh, I'm super excited actually to do it I'll start the comparison in, in a couple of days I, I will start and we'll see how it goes so um, and you know to be honest it could fuck up my relationship with be cool entirely uh, which you know at the end of the day at the end of the day, I'm here to give you guys the best advice that I can. It's why, but like to go back to what I was saying, like what you will see also is that some people recommend will recommend the software that they've just been using. This is one of the things that may be wrong in what I've been doing. I guess is that you know I've been recommending Be Cool because this is what I've used since the beginning. However, for example, for software like Inventory Lab, you know I've been saying that I've been using Inventory Lab myself because I've never done it any other way. But like to be honest, for new for for new people, I said like you can just do it with the amazon workflow i've never used it but it looks like it's better now than when i started so um yeah it's just because i've always used it if you want to use it and i've been saying it inventory lab is a little bit overpriced um but yeah yeah so that's it for today's video i hope um you guys will not be as gullible in the future um and i i know that some of you guys have clicked on this video because you just like you just watch my video daily my videos daily but um yeah so hopefully i'll see you guys tomorrow uh, if we get to live another day we will we will we, we i'm pretty sure we will all right so i'll see you guys tomorrow thank you for watching